and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that looks to answer exactly those. I'm Rebecca Felgate, and today I am delving deeper into our World War series by having a look at what weapons would be used in World War III. To keep things cheery, let's start with the nukes. So, right now the world has around 15,500 nuclear warheads, the majority of which belong to Russia and the USA. However, only around 10,000 are in military service. Don't worry though, 10,000 is plenty enough to do some damage, especially when you hear about the most powerful nukes in the arsenal. The biggest bomb America has is the B-83, big enough to kill 1.4 million people in 24 hours, with a further 3.7 million likely to die from their injuries. The former USSR tested the Tsar bomber which has the ability to kill 7.6 million and injure a further 4 million. There is no doubt that Russia is in possession of something similar, and you don't want to be around if it's ever detonated. The smallest, shortest range nuclear weapon is the Davy Crockett, a W 54 weapon weighing only 51 pounds. This can be launched by a recoilless gun mounted on a jeep. Big or small, currently various treaties do not allow the deployment of these weapons, but in a worst case scenario, they could be used in World War III. Other countries with nukes legally are France, the UK, and China, with Pakistan, India, Israel, and North Korea also in possession of nuclear weapons, but not bound by any treaty. If any nuclear weapon is deployed, we could see the launch of several in retaliation, until further treaties were signed to stop their use. After all, the death tolls would be unfathomable. Now we have the weapons of mass destruction out of the way, what else would be used? Well, we already know that the Syrian government has used the chemical weapon sarin on their own people. This is a violation of international law. If war broke out, I imagine we would see more of this illegal substance that attacks the nervous system, leaving the victims foaming at the mouth. It is very unlikely that countries such as the United States, China, Russia, and Japan would use chemical weapons because their international standing would be severely threatened, although there is still a small chance. There are ways countries can do damage without weapons of mass destruction, and it is likely these would be used in favor of nukes because of the potential counter strike repercussions. Instead, Navy and aviation attacks using non nuclear missiles and bombs are likely to be launched. Currently, the USA has close to 9,000 tanks, 14,000 aircrafts, and 72 submarines. Its biggest advantage is its strong fleet of 10 aircraft carriers. The US Navy is in proud possession of railguns, reportedly a game changer in naval firepower. The gun is powered by a flow of electrons and can generate 32 megajoules of power. Meanwhile, China has 9,000 tanks, close to 3,000 aircraft, and 67 submarines. Russia has over 15,300 tanks, 55 submarines, and 3,429 aircraft, including a fifth generation fighter jet. Unlike other wars, I would imagine ground fighting would be at a minimum, meaning army personnel wouldn't see so much ground combat as in previous wars. This would mean less guns, which have kind of become somewhat primitive in warfare. Nuclear bombs, regular bombs, missiles, guns, there is one weapon we have not yet talked about that may be key in future attacks. The internet. If a third world war was to take place, it is possible people will use cyber intelligence to attack countries' infrastructure and information networks. We already know that there was cyber intervention in the American presidential elections, and that really is the tip of the iceberg as to what is possible. Websites can be shut down, private data can be accessed for criminal gain or political disruption, and of course to obtain government secrets, harming our defense mechanisms. With the worldwide arsenal as it is, we had better hope that World War 3 does not involve nuclear weapons, however, the likelihood is that it will. Of all of the weapons combined, these are the most dangerous and can cause the most damage. In the words of Albert Einstein, I know not with what weapons World War 3 will be fought, but World War 4 will be fought with sticks and stones. So that's all I have for you in this episode of Life's Biggest Questions. Do you guys have anything? Shalom, I'll start off saying. Let me give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, to the Holy Spirit. The third Master Nakabai, Allah, has cream, such as Allah, which means give double honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach you well. And Shalom, Allah, which means peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come on, you know, listen, this is the Buddha I now from the GMS Memphis camp. Let's go be on this video, as you can see, from life's biggest questions. 
what weapons will be used during World War III, you know. And this is spiritual because the Lord told us these things, you know. The 200,000, 000, you know, missiles that Babylon the Great, aka America, will be destroyed. And some other places across the globe will be hit with thermonuclear missiles. World War III is not, you know. And this was going to be fought during World War III. Like she said, it would be less uh, hand in hand combat. And this was published three years ago. You know, they tripled the amount of weapons, their tanks, their nuclear missiles. You know, they were just published three years ago. You know, they got increased in, in the last three years. They got more, you know. So let's start with Isaiah 95. For every battle of, of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolling blood. But this should be with burning and fill of fire, man. Read this again. It said, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolling blood. This was the way of war back then, hand-to-hand -hand combat, you know, the confused noise. When your sword hitting their shields, they uh, screaming, you know, the garments rolling blood, man, hand-to-hand -hand combat. But it said, but this should be with burning and fill of fire, man, you know. These thermonuclear missiles, man. This is the war to end our wars, man. And it's not going to be a World War IV. You know? World War IV will never happen. Because this is the last war, man. You know? World War IV will never happen, man. Because according to the um, prophecy, we're going to be in the kingdom of heaven. Everlasting peace. Honor Yahweh Shema Shah. You know? His kingdom. You know? Uh... Uh, I lost my train of thought, so like you. Revelation 11, 14, the second world was passed, and behold, the third world come quickly, man. You know, during, hey, the start of 2020, it was almost a wars, man. You know, I think it was Iran with the um, General Solomon, um, um, Damn, I forgot. But it's like, man, but during World War Three, I mean, not during World War Three, but during the start of this year, it was World War Three talks, man. You know, and World War Three talks are still rumors, man. It's still escalating, man. Just because the so-called pandemic happened, the protests, the riots, hey, this is still going on. The media is not talking about World War Three, man. I think today. Uh, no, Korea just blew up um, our office in South Korea, man. You know, this is still going to happen, man. World War III is still going to happen, man. You know? Isaiah 34. No, let's get 54. It says to you. It say, uh Behold, I have created the smith to blow the coast and the fire and to bring forth an instrument for his works. And I have created the waste to, to destroy, man. You know, there's... That's it, the race to, to destroy, man. You know? The thermonuclear missiles, man. It said, for my swords to be bathed in heaven. Isaiah 3, 4, 5, for my swords to be bathed in heaven. Behold, it should come down upon I doom you and upon the people of my curse to judgment, man. I doom you is a Greek word saying eat them. Eat so eat them, man. You know? The lake of fire is America, man. You know? And other parts of the land, you know? Because Jerusalem... You gotta be cleansed too. You got heathens in our land, you know. Having um abominations, man, you know. I must not eight, behold the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord, man. You know. This is a sinful kingdom. You know, they said the earth was given to the hand of the wicked. You know, Revelation 7, let's start at 1. And out of these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel sitting from the east, having a seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and of the sea saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. 
And I heard the number of them which was sealed, and it was sealed and 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel, from Judah to Ishakai. You know? So once the elect get sealed, then the destruction will come. Babylon, Babylon the Great, America, will get destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, man. And this is the second death. You know, let's grab that real quick. God, people still believe in a place in hell. Revelation 20 14. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, man. The first death was by the floods, water, you know. That's why we have the rainbow as a covenant that the Lord will not uh, destroy us by water again. But this time, it will be by fire. This is the second death, man. You know, this is the second death. Second, uh, Ezra 16, or start at 13, give it a close out. The earth cracked it, and the foundation of, uh, 14, Salaki. And I started at 12, Salaki, I can't see. Second Ezra 16 and 13, for strong is his right hand that bent his bow. His arrows that he shoot are sharp and should not miss when they begin to shoot shot, when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. You know, what arrow you know that can go out of space? You know, it's talking about the uh, nuclear missile, ICBM, man. You know, they are sharp, man. It said, for my swords to be bathed in heaven. You know, it said, behold, the plagues are sent and should not return again till they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and should not be put out till it consumed the foundation of the earth. Like it said, arrow which is shot of a mighty ox will turn it not backwards. Even so, the plagues that should be sent upon earth should not return again, you know? So these are the, will be the plague, man. The second death, throw my nuclear missiles, man. And World War III is not, man. And this this one will be fought during World War III, man. It's at the, um, the end of all wars, man, you know? This is the plague. Look at this, Zechariah 14 and 12. It said, and this should be the play with, with the Lord, Yahweh, which might all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh should consume away where they stand upon their feet, and their eyes should consume away in their holes, and their tongue should co consume away in their mouth, man. Throw my nuclear missiles, man. This is the plague, man. You know? This is the plague from the Lord, man. And especially to you ones that take the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip. You take that, you're going to be part of the second death. You'll be part of this plague. You're going to be destroyed by throwing nuclear missiles, man. You know? So do not take the chip if you're Israelites. You know, you so-called black, Spanish, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. And to you Israelite foreigners that may look like the other nations, man. You know? But two-thirds are set up to be cut off and die, man. Close on Zechariah 13 and 8, like you. And it should come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein should be cut off and die. But a third should be left therein. And I'll bring the third part to the fire, and I will refine them as silver is, is refined, and I'll try them as gold is tried. They should call on my name, my name, Yahweh you know, his name, and I will hear them. I will say it is my people, and they should say the Lord is my power, man. So this, this, it, you know, just doing a quick lesson on that, what weapons will be used during World War III. And ultimately, going to be throwing my nuclear missiles, man. Cause Esau, you know, Esau can't fight, you know. His his weapon, I mean his blessing was the sword, man. You know? So this will be fought during World War III, throwing nuclear missiles and his end is our beginning, man. Zechariah, not Zechariah, second age is six and seven, man. Esau would destroy himself, man. The Lord put spill on him to destroy himself, man. You live by the uh sword, you die by the sword, man. You know, and we up next to Israelites. So with that, help you edify. Once again, we we'll give our praises on glory to Yahweh by Shem Hashem, by Shem Kachodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great men. Stone to Israel, and peace and love to the lake of Israel. That's Shalom. Come here, Shalom.